YouTube, what's good with y'all? The coach Gerard here, your number one kingdom relationship coach. If you're new to my channel, my name is Coach Gerard. I am a kingdom relationship coach. Um, and what I do is I teach relationship from a kingdom perspective. Um, kingdom means God's will doing things. Kingdom means God's will doing things. And basically what I do here, I use what you may call it worldly topics, uh, what's going on in the world with, dealing with relationships. And give my advice based upon my experience as a man, um, and based upon you know biblical, from a biblical standpoint, biblical view. Um, and my number one purpose is to protect women, to teach women the game that they never was taught um, by their daddy and you know by the men in their family. This is what I do on this channel. You know, um, if you like this type of content. Click on that um, subscribe, hit the subscribe button, and also hit the bell, get notified when I drop uh, content. And to all the ones who've been here for a while, welcome back to my channel. I want to say God bless y'all. Y'all mean so much to me. Y'all support. It, it just means so much to me, and, and I can't do what I do without y'all. Thank y'all for all my supporters who've been with me for a while. I appreciate y'all. And, you know, sometimes... You know, y'all don't do some, y'all don't be with me. I'm just to say some things that, you know, can rough your feathers a little bit. You know, say I might step on your toes. Um, excuse me, y'all. Y'all know what I got going on. But it's out of love. Out of love. Sometimes I hold women accountable, but it, it's, it's out of love. It's not a place of um, bitterness, nothing like that, because I'm not bitter against women. I don't have mother's wound, mother, mother wound, or nothing like that. You know, I was raised right. My, my mama raised me right. So, you know, I do hold women accountable. Uh, sometimes I hold women accountable. And if you don't like accountability, maybe you may not be want to be on this channel. But I do hold women accountable. I speak the truth in love. And I hold men accountable as well. You know, I don't I don't take up no size um, on this channel. You know, so that I tell the men, mainly I'm hard on the men than women, mainly. I'm more hard on men than women. But, you know, I'm an old school guy that believe in, you know, old school morals and values. That the man is the head, the man is the provider and the, the protector. And the man ought to lead the woman and lead with love. So that's what I stand for on this channel. That's what I promote. And yeah, again, that's God's will doing things. So if you like that kind of stuff, hey, welcome to my channel, to the ones who are new to my channel. But today I want to talk about uh, the situation we're having with Lori, uh, Harvey, and Michael B. Uh, I'm going to get my thoughts and my opinion on that. Um, I saw, I did some research on it, and I tried to figure out you know, what was the reason why they call it quits. And what's going on, what's going around is that, you know, they, it's a 10 year difference. And she, he wanted to get married and she was not ready to get married. She was, you know, she she's not ready to get married. She still want to, you know, have fun. My opinion on that, that's baloney. I, I don't believe that that was the reason why. Now, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I'm gonna give y'all my 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 advice. My I'm gonna give y'all my opinion based upon me being a coach and based upon me being a man of wisdom, me uh coaching women, me studying women. I've been coaching women for like six years, going on seven years now. You know, um for me collecting data on women as in coaching sessions, studying women, that that don't sit well with me. That's a red flag. Another red flag, too, that, you know, she immediately erased everything off her Instagram about him. And normally when a woman does that, it's some hurt there, some hurt there. And I was told that so far he still have the pictures of them doing stuff on Instagram up. Um, but she took all her stuff down. You know, that's the last that I heard a couple of days ago. I don't know if it changed now. That's a red flag. That that tells me that um, you know, he must have did something to her 
for her to not, for them to break up. And the reason why I say this is because in this generation, in 2022, a woman is not going to break up with no good man. A woman is not going to leave no good man. I, I don't believe, women don't, listen to me now, women don't even leave bad men real easy. The average woman got to get dragged through the mud before she leave a bad, toxic man. <clears throat> you mean tell me a woman going to leave a good man? A man that have money, the that, 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 that majority of black women won't, not majority, but a lot of black women won't, this, this high value man, he will, he will, what, what society call a high value man. He make over, over, he makes seven figures. Actor, you know, according to women, he's attractive because women are already talking about, oh, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm next, I'm next, I'll wait my turn, you know. A lot of other women in celebrity news claiming that they, you know, they want, they happy that they didn't make it, you know. Now they, they might have a chance with him. So a lot of women like him, but he look, I'm not a man, I mean, I'm not a woman, I don't judge men. But according to women, he's attractive. Attractive, money, got status, and a woman is not going to leave no man like that in for, for nothing, for no reason, you know. It had to be something else that they covering up, you know. And um, uh, you know, maybe she don't want to expose him. So maybe they both agree that hey, we go, you know what I'm saying, just call it off. Just say, you know, hey, you know what I'm saying? We want to do different things, 10 year age gap. A 10 year age gap is not that bad. It's not that it's not that far to me, my opinion in dating. To me, 10 years. A woman dating a man 10 years older than her, that's pretty much the limit that she should probably should go. You know, 10 years, there's nothing wrong with a woman dating a man 10 years older than her. Now, I wouldn't agree that a woman dated a man 10 years younger than her. Just say if she's 35, he's 25, because men don't mature as fast as women. You know, a 25 year old boy. You know, with their five year old woman, and, and, but you got some women want a young man that they they're younger than them. I heard some women say they want they would they'll be smart 21, 19 years old, and they in their 30s. And I didn't shake my head. You want a 19, 21 year old and you're in your 30s? And my thing is, how you gonna pick this man 10 years younger than you over you in your head and to lead you? That man don't know nothing about leadership. A 21 year old, 25 year old. Does not know anything about leadership, anything about being a head, about being a husband. He don't know the responsibility that comes with a husband. But women, they are, they're they gonna get in the comment. They wanna argue me with me because they want them a little young man. But you, this we all you want to, no problem. But I'm not gonna argue with nobody. But just respect me because soon you come at me with respect, I'm gonna block you. I'm not gonna argue with you. I don't argue with nobody about my opinion. But I'm a man that I know. When I was 25, I was a I was a grown boy. You know, I was 25, I was very immature. When I was 25 and I got married, I think at 26, all I thought about is getting married so I can get in the bedroom and get banana put. I got a license to get banana put, and that's it. I don't know anything about being a, man, being a man. I didn't know how to make love to a woman. So at that age gap, you know, is a woman going down, yeah, but as long as that woman going 10 years up. To me, that's that's not a big age. It's not a big age difference. Now, twenty years, fifteen years, anything over ten years, in my opinion, you know, a woman shouldn't go. Eleven years, twelve years, pushing it. I mean, you know, pushing it. But anything above at least twelve years, especially twelve years, to me, that's a little bit too high that a woman should go up. But ten years is perfect. 10 years is not that much of a big age gap, you know. So to me, that's not a good reason for them to call it quits. Because my thing is, y'all already know y'all 10 years apart. What y'all what, what did all this for y'all start dating? Like y'all already know, why, why now, a year and a half of dating, you never been in a relationship, all of a sudden now over 10 years apart, and 
We want, we want different things. You know, he want to get married. I'm not ready for marriage. I do not buy that. I'm trying to tell y'all I do not buy that because a woman is not going to turn down marriage. That's it. That's about every woman's dream. Not everyone, but the majority of women, there are some exceptions. There are, but the majority of women wants to get married. A majority of women, they dream of marriage as a teenager, as a young girl. They, that's a, be married to a man that got money and attractive. That's every young girl dream. So my opinion, something else going on that we don't know about, and we probably will never know. Because women do not leave a good man. If that man treat her right and he got the money, you, he's attractive, according to women. I'm not gay. I don't like men. According to women, he's attractive. He got status. And he treats like a queen. That woman is not going to leave that man. I'm trying to tell y'all for nothing like that right now. Because I, I got to bear women to leave men who toss it. I got to bear women who leave a man who ugly. I got to bear women who leave a man who ain't got no D in the bedroom. We ain't having like this right in the bedroom. You can't stay up. You get halfway up. This, this is the kind of stuff that women put up with. Ugly, hammer like this, no D, not a great provider, don't lead with love, toxic and controlling. And we, I, I'm trying to tell y'all, and women stay right there, not all, but the majority of women in this generation, they stay right there and they let that man drag him in the mud. I do not believe that that's the reason why they broke up. I, I just don't believe that. That that this just don't sit well with me, but you know, that's what they say. Hey, we all know the real story, but what we got to go by. But my thing is, this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. You know, <laughs> my thing is, I know he got a banana pudding. I know he don't have to get a banana pudding. That's another thing too. You know. Um, a year and a half, and this is why, and, and, and I know it's not popular, but this is why it's best to do it God's way. Because now it don't work. Now, get what? As a woman, now as a man, oh, that's not, see, and we live in a devil's standard society. As a man, man, I've been with Lori Harvey. Woo. Man, I don't tap that. I tap Lori, you see what I'm saying? But as a woman, that's another body count. You know what I'm saying? And we live in a devil standard society toward women. You know, society is very devil standard toward women. You know, uh, 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 you know, for an example, and I'm going to do a video about this right here. For an example, a man was sitting there questioning a woman that, that got three kids and, and, and never been married. He got three kids out of wedlock. This is how a lot of men think. Now she wanna wait till she get married. Now she wanna get married. Now she wanna wait, now she wanna wait till she get married. So this is how a lot of men think in a generation. So why you ain't thought about that before? Why you get three kids from three different baby daddies? Now you require marriage before you get on your back. That's what men, that's how men in this generation think. I heard this stuff on like, you know, on social media, on different talk shows. That's how men Say the women, what men say about women. But guess what? They don't ask themselves the same question. A man can have about five baby mamas, five baby dad, five, 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 five kids, ten, he can have about eight baby mama, eight kids, right? But he don't feel that same way about him though. Why he be quite mad for he took a hammer and got eight got eight babies. You see how devil stand a man there? You see what I'm saying? We live in a devastating society. See what we're trying to tell y'all women. <clears throat> That's why the best thing to do is do it God's way. I ain't, I ain't trying to beat nobody over the Bible. I ain't trying to promote asking it. But it's why I best do it God's way. Because you walk away, you know what? You walk away with your dignity. Your pride say, listen, you see you get my body. And they, they traveling, going on a trip together. And you know they 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 she out there with a king and baby suit on all this stuff for child please that man that man tapped that that man tapped that and you know that's the thing like about relationships in 2022 you know um 
it's hard to make a relationship work. It is, especially you know being in the spotlight, uh, like they was. It's it's not easy. But here's the thing that that I'm gonna sum it all up with is right here. You had the money, you had the fame, you had the status. But if God is not in the center of that relationship, if God is not the foundation of that relationship, if that relationship is not built upon biblical principles, if that relationship is not built upon husband, love your wife like Christ loved the church, he gave himself for it. Why submit your husband as unto the Lord? If a relationship is not built upon that, it ain't going to last. It ain't going to last. Because every relationship is going to have tests and trials. Every relationship is going to have some storms. The wind is going to blow at your relationships. But if you, if Christ is not the foundation of that relationship, guess what? It's going to fall. Building a relationship without Christ is like building a house on sand. With no foundation. And that's what I look at the whole situation with Lori. And they got the looks, they got the money, they got the status. But what's Christ, the center of that relationship? Was God involved in that? Did they both pray about it before they made that decision? Were they both led by God? You see what I'm saying? Before they got into it with each other. You know, that's what I'm. That's what I look at it from. A, from a, again, a kingdom code, a kingdom perspective, a kingdom standpoint. It got to be a three string chord, like in, in the book of Ecclesiastes. I should have got. I should have the scripture. Should have um, put a scripture up for y'all. Talk about a three string chord. If, if, there's, if there's not a three string chord, you. Christ in the middle and the other person, it's not gonna work. I ain't gonna say it ain't gonna work because some some people are uh, have successful relationships. They probably not Christ. They, they don't believe in God. It's possible, but you know, you don't know what they're going through though. We might think they're successful because they've been together 20 years, they've been married 20 years, but we don't know was they really happy those 20 years. So we really can't say that. But I'm just going to stand on what I know. If it's not built up on God, biblical principles, it's, it, it, it's, it's a big risk that it ain't going to last. If it's built upon looks, money, and, and again, these women get mad at me about they want a man that makes six figures. Do what I'm trying to tell them. And listen, you can get mad how you want to. You come in the comment, tell me I'm telling black women to sell and all the kind of stuff right here. You get me all you want to, but I'm just going to keep it going real with y'all. Do what I'm trying to tell women. Start letting that man based upon how much he make. I'm not saying you don't get, go get a broke man. A man ain't got to be making six figures to be making, to be, you know what I'm saying, to have some money. Look at this man right here. Look at the money. That, look, at the, look at the success that he got. Look at the money that he got. Because why? They building upon money. They build it upon looks. They build it upon banana pudding, hammer, getting inside, of, sleeping together. Whenever you build a relationship on this stuff like that right there, it's not going to last. This is what I'm trying to tell women when they get mad at me tomorrow telling them black women to settle. But those are low-value women who, who only want a man because he got money for what he could do for them, who cannot attract their man because they're average at best. They're average at best. You don't want you. That's why you ain't got that six figure man. Instead of you trying to build upon other things other than just money, you put it upon money and success. And that's why I get up out of that whole situation with Lori and Michael B. If Christ is not the center, of, I'm not, listen, I'm not talking about the pastors. I'm not talking about the one who go to church. Because y'all going to say, well, that's not true. I know church people getting divorced too. I'm not talking about everybody go to, everybody go to church is not built upon Christ. Half of them, matter of fact, half of them that go to church don't 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 base their relationship on Christ. <laughs> they just got a they just religious. <laughs> they just religious. The majority of people go to church are just religious. They go up because their mama went, their, their daddy went, 
And the auntie went to that church and they didn't go to church. And all the time they opened their Bible when the pastor say, open up the Bible to so and so and such and such. But they live like devils. So I'm not talking about people who go to church. I'm talking about people who got a relationship, who kingdom people, who build their relationship on kingdom principles. What the Bible say? A kind word turns away wrath. So when you and your spouse or your significant other get into a, a disagreement, somebody should say a kind word because a kind word steals away wrath. What about say forgive? What? Seven, Jesus said forgive seven times seven. Is relationship? So I'm, I'm just telling y'all some examples of what the relationship got to be built upon. It just can't be built upon looks and money and status and success. It got Christ got to be the center of that relationship. If Christ not the center of the relationship, it ain't gonna last. It got to be a three string cord. You, Christ, and your mate. Y'all got to be. It's hard to break three a three string cord. My thoughts, my opinion. That's the bottom line to all that right there. No matter how much money you got, how, how good you look up, because, you know, according to the society, world, they, 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 they was a good looking couple. Both successful. Both got money. But get what? You ain't got God. If God not in it, you ain't got nothing. Hey, my thoughts, my opinion. This is Coach Rod. God bless y'all. If you need coaching, click on the link for coaching. And the description box for coaching. And also the person my book, Queen Do Not Settle. Click on the link for that as well. Get my book, Queen Don't Settle. If, you're not, if you have not got my book yet, God bless y'all. But listen, a relationship must be built upon Christ. Biblical principles. If not built upon biblical principles, it might not last. Because every relationship is going to have a test. Because you know what? The devil, especially when you put your relationship on social media, oh, the devil really going to try to attack. He don't like relationships. He don't like marriages. He don't want to see people coming together. He likes to see people breaking up. So, the test is going to come in every relationship. It's not going to be a no perfect relationship where y'all don't go through nothing. And the only way that relationship and that marriage is going to survive if Christ is the foundation. Christ, the solid rock I stand. All other else is seeking sin. Seeking sin. Hey, God bless y'all. Talk to y'all soon.